Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to layer some, um, it's going to be my bottom layer, this blue, light blue is going to be the top layer. We're going to press in some of these, these uh, stamps into the clay and we're going to see how this turns out. So, this is going to be my background here. Let me get some ceramic. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're going to cut the round piece as the background. I'm gonna cut a couple of these. And I did roll these out on my uh, pasta machine on one, uh, let's see, on mine is, uh, one is the thickest. So I just have a little, little cheapy that I bought through, uh, through Amazon. And so one is the thickest on mine. Oh, I don't like that little piece right there. Let me see if I can. I'm gonna put the blue on this paper because on this uh, wax paper because I don't know why I can never remember it. Okay, so we're gonna take this first one and just press it in really good. And I know I'm not gonna get the whole stamp in my uh, cutting, but I'll get up portion of it. All right. So this one we're going to cut with this. I want 
try to get this part of it. Maybe a little more this direction. Let me put my saran wrap here. The only thing about the saran wrap, it just gives you a smoother edge, I think, is one reason that I use it. All right, let me go right there. I just don't want to press that too hard. I'm going to I'm going to bake it together so I think it'll it will definitely stick once we bake it. All right, so the next one I'm gonna do is this kind of a rose. This one out of the square. I'm going to go this way with it. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna roll this. Okay, I rolled out two more of my circles for the background. So I'm about to run out of the bronze. I don't have very much of that left. So, but this one we're gonna do this flower. I wonder if I can cut it there. I think I can. Just scoot it.
All right, and the last one is gonna be this leaf. Cut it with this one. And then I'm going to cut me uh, you know I was going to cut these and do a topper to it but I don't think I am. I think I'm going to put the carriers on it with some um, resin. Okay so This is the finished ones here. I'm going to put these in the oven for on 275 for 30 minutes. And we'll be back and then we will put some, uh, we'll resin them and then we'll put the holders on for the, for the chains. So we will be back. Okay, so they're out of the oven. And I sanded the edges a little bit, so. So now what I am gonna do is, I've got this kind of coppery, it's called Brushed Rose Gold. And I'm gonna brush this on and wipe it off. Because we're gonna see if this kind of goes down into the crevices of these stamps, and then I'm gonna kind of wipe it off. Where it just kind of goes down into the the creases and then we're gonna let that dry and then we'll finish it off with the resin
And I'm actually just taking a dry baby wipe to wipe that off. Just gonna let them dry. All right, we're gonna let those dry. <clears throat> and then once those dry, we're gonna come back with the UV resin. And that's what we're gonna finish them off with. And I'm gonna put the um, carriers on the back, which will be for putting the chain through it. So we're gonna let that dry and I'll be back. Okay, so they're dry from putting on the paint. So now we're gonna use <clears throat> the UV resin and we are going to finish them off. Oh, and let me get my uh, bales that I'm gonna put on them for carriers. Let me get that, just one second, I'll be back. Okay, so with these, I think I'm gonna do um, two silver and two of the kind of bronzy ones, because I have chains for both. So this is 
how I'm going to do them. So first, we're going to do the resin on the front of them. And usually when I resin, I'll resin around the edges first, and then I'll come back and resin the whole top of it. This one because we have the layers I'll go inside here and do this also at the same time All right, and then I'm gonna put it under the UV for about 60 seconds, maybe two to three times. And then I'll probably put a second coat on it. All right, so that's after the first coat. One coat might do it for these, I'm not for sure. So I think I'm going to I'll put the bell on. So on this one, I'm gonna do the bronzy one. And the way I normally will do these is, I just put a little bit of uh, resin on the bell to just get it stuck. And then once I get it on there with the, with the UV, then I'll put more around it. Let me see exactly where I want that bell. Because I want it right up here on this corner. All right, and once I've got it on there with the uh, UV light, then I'm gonna come back and finish off the whole back with with uh, resin, and that just secures the bell really good if I resin all around it. And that way, if I do decide to sell these pieces, it'll be secure. And I do have a an Etsy shop, I always link it in the comments. So if you are interested in any of my pieces, eventually they will show up in my Etsy shop. I don't always get them on there right away, but. And the rest of them I'll probably do off camera. I'll come back once I've got them all resined and the bales on and I will show you the finished product. Okay guys, here is the finished product. 
I did two with silver chains and two with kind of that bronzy color chain. So they turned out really pretty. Let's see if I can get that to focus. If you did enjoy this video, if you could give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel. If you hit that red bell, it will notify you when I upload the next video. And I will see you on the next one.